Welcome to this exclusive VIP Access All Areas tour inside Mojo School. My name is Jane Bellis and I am a first aid for mental health and safeguarding instructor and I am also a mindset breakthrough coach and I specialise in helping people to create resilience in their lives and look after their holistic wellness. I am accredited by the Complementary Medical Association, the International Practitioners of Holistic Medicine and the accredited counsellors, coaches, psychotherapists and hypnotherapists. So what is Mojo School? Well, I have built 18 courses and two full coaching programmes which will help you to navigate and walk the medicine wheel and apply it to your life. So we will cover all kinds of topics that support your mental, physical, emotional and spiritual well-being. You'll have access to a whole treasure trove and library of resources, videos, toolkit building, We've got some ebooks, we have some downloadable PDFs, templates, quizzes, self assessments, all kinds of stuff. And we also have a really lovely community area. So once you choose to enrol, and there are multiple ways to do that, you will have access to your very own dashboard, which will show you all the features and help you navigate really simply through your own course curriculum. Now I've made sure that each and every course and coaching programme feels really accessible, really person-centred, everything is trauma-informed and neuro-aware, so it should feel really lovely to experience. But behind the surface we have a lot of grounding in cutting-edge neuroscience and psychotherapy techniques. It just doesn't feel like it when you're experiencing it. All of the tools, teachings and resources that you'll find in Mojo School right the way through the curriculum are based on my extensive work with many, many different people and many different communities supporting resilience, good mental health and well-being. And we've used a variety of different ways and different sources to do that. So depending on your particular learning style, you may prefer the videos, the audio, the ebooks. you might like to read, you might like the gamification of the quizzes. There's something really for everyone. So I think it's time to have a deep dive and find out what it looks like on the inside. Are you ready? So before we head on in and have a look what it looks like on the inside of Mojo School, let's have a little whistle stop tour of how it all works. Well, I have built more than 500 bite-sized lessons and learning activities for you. We have more than 200 downloadable tools so that you can build your personalized toolkits. And there are more than 150 hours of guided learning and many more hours of self-paced learning within the walls of Mojo School. And I've designed a whole host of user-friendly features, not only with the platform itself, but with also with how you access Mojo School. So, once you've enrolled as a student, you will be able to see your dashboard. And from there, you can access a couple of our free courses, which will give you a flavour of how things look and take you on a little tour of the system and how to navigate the curriculum. During this process, we'll do a little bit of goal setting and a couple of creative assessments to find out what it is that you need and give you some tips on the best place to start. Now from there, you can choose to pay as you go. You can explore the curriculum and jump on any of the courses independently, priced at £111. Once you're enrolled as a Mojo School student, when we do our periodical special offers and slash the prices of individual courses, you'll get notification so you can jump on them at special offer prices if that works for you. If, however, you want super special value, we have our Mojo membership subscription. For £16.99 a month, you can get access to the full course curriculum, 24 hours a day, seven days a week from any device. It's worth over £3,000, so you're getting a real bargain savings with this option. And to make it even easier and no risk at all, we have a seven day free trial period so that you can give it a test with no commitment and of course, you can cancel any time you like. Within Mojo School, we have four main areas of self-development. 
These relate to the four quarters of the medicine wheel. Like four quarters of a wheel, four seasons of the year and four cardinal directions. Each represents a part of ourselves that may need developing, healing or balancing. The medicine wheel is our guiding compass at Mojo School. This ancient tool represents the interconnectedness of all aspects of ourselves, physical, mental, emotional and spiritual. Imagine it as a circle divided into four quadrants, each representing a core direction. The east for air and clarity. This represents the mental aspects. This is about setting intentions, sparking creativity and gaining mental focus. The North for Earth and grounding. This represents the physical aspects. Connecting with the Earth, our physical space and our community provides stability, a sense of belonging and nourishes our physical well-being. The West for water and flow. This represents the emotional aspects. This direction encourages emotional release, creativity and flow, fosters intuition and helps us navigate life with grace. The South for fire and transformation. This represents the soul aspect. Here we ignite our passion embrace change and release what no longer serves us. Why not take a moment to reflect on which direction resonates most with you right now? Is it a desire for clarity in the east? A need for grounding in the north? A yearning for emotional balance in the west? Or a longing for transformation in the south? So it really is a comprehensive curriculum designed to nourish your mind, body, spirit and sense of community. I'm going to take you through a real sneak peek of how the four quarters of Mojo School work and how that represents to the parts of you that we are looking to work with. So as we take a walk around the medicine wheel, the first quarter that you are likely to come across is the east. And that is where all of the Mindset Mojo courses and resources can be found. And the East relates to the mental plane. So this is our top down approach. This is where a lot of the neuroscience and the psychotherapy and the CBT style tools can be found. It's all around fresh thinking, clarity, new perspectives and new beginnings. So it really is a great place to start. Then we tend to move around towards the North. So once we've looked at our top down mental health, and resilience and our thought processes, we can start to take a deeper look at things like our physical body, our physical spaces, and we can learn the bottom up tools, which are also known as somatic tools. So how our body connects. And these two things together are really powerful. If we can combine the mindset stuff with the somatic stuff, it really is a great combination to be able to help you to feel better really quickly and in real time. So there are really lovely courses and resources in the north um, all around helping you ground yourself and create some balance. There are some beautiful courses around connecting in with your local environment, with nature, with the elements. There are some classic somatic tools to help you in real time manage your anxiety levels and the physical sensations in your body. Uh, there's some links very, very closely in to the five ways to well-being framework. Um, and around sustainability practices and how you can just create a better space for yourself. There's also a lovely breath work course in there that helps you to have another tool to put in your toolkit to help you when you're feeling anxious. Then if we move along to the West, we look at an area that we tend to really suppress and ignore, especially out here in the West, ironically. And this is our emotional health and our creative flow. And we tend to be taught that this is something that is either irrelevant or it's childish or it's something that we should just ignore and never speak about. So once we have a clear understanding and a cognitive approach to our mental health and we understand the concepts and we understand how it works and what we need to do, 
We've connected in with our body. We've created a sense of safety and we're managing our symptoms. We have those two things, but then the whole medicine wheel is in no way complete. So we need to start bringing in the other parts of ourselves. And by moving to the West and looking at our emotions and our creative flow, this is where the power really kicks in because we're able to put those other things into practical action with the tools that we need to move things through. And there is a specific course in this section which relates to The Body Keeps the Score, if anybody has read that book and the amazing work um, by Bessel van der Kolk. So we're looking at the practical application and how we can start to move these trapped emotions, which are now you know, scientifically provable that our mental and physical struggles often come from emotions that have been trapped from experiences that we've had throughout our lives. So this really is the next um, step through the medicine wheel to help us to process, release and purge and flow some of these things through. And it's really, really powerful, yet really safe and engaging tools to be able to completely, completely change your life. And of course, we have one more to go. We have the completion of the medicine wheel. Once we're taking a walk around this space, we need to take a journey to the south. And the south is all around the soul. And it's all around your spiritual connection. And this is by no means connected to any kind of specific religion or specific faith, although it is appropriate and suitable for everybody. It is simply around the principle of connecting in with something bigger than yourself. And you can apply that to however it works for you. It's around authentic expression of your soul. So we look at things like identity and passion and purpose and working out who you truly are and who you are. Your unlimited potential, it's the key to unlock this potential. Once you have the foundations in from the other three quarters, this is where we have the catalyst for the soul expression that we're all so desperately looking for. So you can see there is an incredible amount of information and tools and resources. But as we head into the dashboard and we find out how that looks in practical terms, you can see how I've collated these into really simple, engaging courses that fit into these distinct areas so that you have a lovely blueprint and a lovely pathway to work your way through and take a walk around the whole of the medicine wheel. And of course, you can do this in your own time and in your own way with as much or as little guidance from me as you need. So you may access Mojo School in a multitude of ways from different landing pages, depending on what your needs are, depending on who has sent you a link. So this is the main homepage that you can see on the screen now. So this is if you put into your search engine www.mymojoschool.com, this is what you will see. And there's information on here and a couple of little videos that will explain to you the concept of Mojo School and what you can find inside. So feel free to explore that. You may find another landing page is what you experience first, depending on your needs and depending on what you've seen on socials or maybe somebody has sent you a link. But every single one of them will have the same top bar, the header bar that you can see here, where there's all kinds of information. You can click on the pages and have a little scroll through. You can have a look at all of the courses that are available, all of the subscription offers that are available and any course bundles that are currently on offer. Then you can choose to either sign up if you haven't already signed up, which will give you access to the inside and you'll get one step closer to actually being able to get hold of some content. You'll also be signed up at that point to the mailing list so I can send you some special sneak previews and some special offers. Still no pressure at that point. It just means that you're kind of on the inside or you will sign up to a particular course or subscription. OK, so I'm going to sign in because obviously I'm already signed up. So I'm going to show you what the sign in screen will look like. That'll get you a little bit closer. And this is what you will see. You will access your very own dashboard. So it will give you a nice little greeting. And you can see that it will tell you how many courses that you have access to. If you have signed up and you've bought just one course, it will show you the one that you have. If you are on a bundle or a subscription, it will show you exactly how many you have access to. It will tell you how many hours of learning you've done. It will tell you any posts that you've made in the community area. And it will tell you how many certificates you have achieved. And go me, I have 16 certificates because I've been testing every single course out to make sure it works perfectly for you. 
You can also see on the end there that there's an inbox and that is literally what it says. It's your inbox. So if I send you any emails or you're discussing things with other students, you have your very own inbox right there on your dashboard. So if I scroll down slowly, you will be able to see the courses that are available on my dashboard because I have access to all of them as I've been testing. So it will show you a completion rate bar on each course. So you can see you'll start at zero and it will walk you straight the way through to 100% at which point you can download your certificate. And if you have one that's not quite completed or you decide for whatever reason you're going to come back to it, uh, then it will show you where you're up to and it will jump straight back in to the, the where you were at when you stopped. It's a really, really cool platform. So you can see all of these courses plus a lot more right the way on your dashboard. You will also be able to see our socials. So if you haven't already, you can get on our socials and you can like and you can follow and you can subscribe and give us a share to help us grow as well. So shall we explore your profile? Let's have a look what it looks like when you actually go to your own profile. Now you have a slightly different view. You can pop your profile picture in if you want to, and it will show you again how many courses you have access to and your hours and your posts and your achievements. And you can see there the first thing that pops up are the certificates that you've achieved. So these lovely dopamine hits and the feel good brain chemistry when you can see exactly what you've achieved and you can download these certificates and you can keep them on your phone. But they're all nicely stored here on your dashboard. I also am in the process of setting up some nice badges. So the more you work your through the content, the more you engage as a community member, you can collect badges and trophies, which is always good. Who doesn't love a badge or a trophy? Um, it'll also give you again the same kind of um, information as on the on the main page all of the courses that you can get access to so let's just have a little explore on the top bar here all of the features so now you have your dashboard and you know exactly what you have access to and you this is the desktop view but it's really simple on a mobile or a tablet you can keep clicking in and out you can access any part anytime you want to 24 7 um, so it's a really, really cool resource, learning space and toolkit all in one. So when you want to start, you can just click on the course and it'll help you start. That'll take you straight to the course menu. But community, where I am now, let's have a little look at community, how that looks. So we have a lovely space. It's a, basically like a social media space, but without all the drama and all the toxicity. So this will be the most positive social media platform you will ever experience. And at the moment, I am just popping some positivity on there to support my community as it builds. And this is the general chat. So anyone who is signed up and anybody who has access to Inside Mojo School can click on community and their general chat will pop up and you can post. You can There'll be polls that I can put in in there pictures to share you can put emojis up you can like and you can comment on other people's posts um just be kind and show the love it's a lovely space to connect and grow now down the left hand side you'll be able to see that there are some hashtags i've set up some specific talk topics um, from general chats to specific skill sharing and all of the different kind of themes that you find in Mojo School. And then further down again, you can see course discussions. So any course that you happen to be on, there is a specific space to discuss the content of those courses. And you will be able to chat with like minded people who are also on a similar journey. And you can share some of the stuff that maybe comes up that you want to share, some of the outcomes, maybe an activity that you've done that you really you're proud of and you want to share. Um, or you might get stuck and want to ask for some advice or find out how other people have tackled a specific topic or activity. Or you may not want to engage with the community at all. And all of those things are absolutely fine. This is your journey and you do it in your way. You can just have a little bit of a stalk and you can have a look and, and get the feel good boost from seeing what other people are posting. There is no pressure. There is no expectation and there is no judgment. And I will be managing and moderating to make sure it continues to be a safe space. So that's your community area. Then if we go back to the top and have a look at where it says apps, there is a little drop down menu. So you have some options there. So if you go to daily news, for example, it will pop up my podcast and you can scroll down to see all the past episodes. Really easy to get access to. There are also some written ones on my Substack. So if you prefer the written word, you can have a little read. You can pop your headphones in and have a listen if you're on the go. 
loads of content there, lots of really interesting people and really positive, uplifting stories and interesting information right at your fingertips. Then moving back up again, if you go down from the daily news to best resources, there is a really cool space that I wanted to show you. So if you do a course and you have a resource that either you miss and you want to go back to or you really enjoyed it and you found it really helped and you want to go back and find it again, I've created a system so that you have to go through the course again to try and find it if you forgot to download it or you didn't want to at the time. You have your own resource library right at your fingertips. So in that resources library, any guest facilitators or practitioners that I have or any people that I recommend your course content are here in the trusted friends section. So you can get a direct link to check these amazing, incredible people out even more and to access their programs, their resources. Um, there's some really incredible people there that I would highly recommend you look at. Then if we move down to the next section here, your actual resources library you'll be able to access absolutely everything that you can find in Mojo School curriculum content. So you can access your resources library anytime you need to go over anything that you've missed and download and look at anything that you found was really helpful as a tool. So everything's categorized nicely for you so you can just see what it is that you feel you need at the time. It might be something to do with your anxiety levels. You might want to access some affirmations, some creative tools, some mindfulness support. But let's have a look at self-care and see what comes up for self-care. You would click on self-care and it will tell you all of the things that are in that library to support your self-care self-care strategies, 10-minute self-care ideas, lots of cool things, gratitude revolution. There's lots and lots in there that will help you build momentum, build resilience. Really cool. So let's have a look at the personal development plan template in case you're in the mood for doing some, some uh, personal development and you want a nice template to do that. So there's lots of prompts in there. It's beautiful resources that then you can go through and you've got nice spaces to be able to write things down. And it will help you with your goal setting. So there's lots of things on there. That's a nice um, personal development plan template. But we also have some really, let's have a look at the positive affirmations builder. So there's a nice PDF download that will take you through what are positive affirmations and to help you create your own. So there's another example for you there. And I even have a cheat sheet. If you're struggling with it, there's some really positive affirmations there on every category. So you've got a cheat sheet to download. Loads of resources, loads of tools, lots of the good stuff. So that's all there. And then there's useful links at the bottom. If there is something that I recommend or there is another um, training provider or there is another space, some supportive apps that I think are really good, I'm going to add them in that space so that you've got all these links to all other places to help you with your onward journey. So it's a really useful resource section. So I'm going to choose this one to show you how the inside of the course process works when you're using it in real time. So each course has its own specific landing page, which has a short video to explain what the course includes and the process that you will go through. It'll tell you roughly how many hours of study time and it will tell you what you need in terms of resources and whether there is an exam at the end, which there isn't on this one. We'll also give you some options if you wanted to save money before you click go, then you can sign up for one of the memberships. It will give you a reminder and it will give you some information on why this course might be for you. So that will be apparent for every single course that you go through. It will also give you a rundown before you even start of what the, what the lessons look like so that you can check that out and see just how long the videos might be, how many pages you're looking at and how many questions you might need to answer. So it's really comprehensive. And then all you need to do to get started is to head into the course. So when you step into your course, it will start you off at 0%. You can see here that I've already hit 100% by testing this course out, but you will start at zero. And it will give you every single piece of content in order. When you finish one, you click next and it will take you on to the next activity. There is a mixture in each course of videos, of eBooks, PDFs, downloadable resources, there will be some quizzes and little self-assessments that you can just do digitally as you go. And every single module has a lovely reflection journal for you to build your diary as you go through. And that you can do it on your phone, you can do it on your desktop, and it's for your eyes only, and it will help you build in the practice of journaling. And it will also help you to keep a record of your thoughts and your feelings and your ideas around the topics that come up. 
It's really, really powerful. So this particular course, we can see the first module has a couple of videos and it has a couple of PDFs and a little bit of a self-assessment to see where we're starting at. Now, I'm going to play you the welcome video because this welcome video you can see on every course. And it's just me giving you an idea of what to expect and how to process with the course itself. So have a little watch. Hello and welcome. I am so glad you decided to choose this course. I wanted to jump on and introduce myself. I'm Jane and I am your pathfinder and way shower for this journey. And I'm going to be leading you through all of the modules and all of the activities that you need. I wanted to give you a couple of tips just before we get started, because I know that many of us out there may have had experiences in the past with learning new things that might not have been particularly positive, and I would hate for that to put you off this particular journey. So I developed materials and resources to suit all different kinds of learning styles. You'll find some little bite-sized videos. You will find some downloadable PDFs that you can print off and use as templates. You will find some eBooks if you like to read. Everything is on this incredible platform so that you can just stop and start whenever you feel like it. You can invest as much or as little time as you want into your learning journey. And it should just pick back up exactly where you left off. Now, if you come across an activity or an exercise that doesn't resonate and you're just not feeling it, that's okay. There is no pressure. There is no expectation. Just skip along, press the arrow and move past it if it, you don't feel like doing it right this moment. You may want to come back to it at another time. You may not. Both of those things are absolutely fine. Similarly, if you aren't into the downloadables and you don't have a printer and you don't want to be bothered printing things off and using them as templates, that's all cool. You don't have to do that if you don't like to do that. You might want to just have a notebook and a pen and you can still do the activities just in your own way. You might not want to do the activity at all. It's all cool. This is your journey. This is all about you and what you need at this moment. So just take it as it comes. See what feels right. Get into your own flow. And just remember, there is no pressure. There is no expectation. And I'm with you every step of the way. Now, as we move through the journey, this particular course, you will now find a video that explains the entire concept of the medicine wheel. So I highly recommend this as your first starting point if you're going to join me at Mojo School. And the videos are lovely. They're beautifully crafted. It's my voiceover and there are some subtitles there if you prefer to read. So you'll have a whole overview of how the medicine wheel works and how you can apply it to your life. And once you finish that video, you'll move on to start an actual activity to do just that. The next activity that you'll move on to is a PDF companion to that video so that you can go back over the medicine wheel and what it means to you. We run down each of the four directions and what they correspond to and what they mean to you in practical terms. So you can download this. You can just read it from your phone or your device. It's a really, really great companion resource. At the very end, it will give you an activity to create your own medicine wheel. Now you can either do that with your own pen and paper, you can scribble it down on the back of a napkin, you could get some paint out, you could build or create something that represents a medicine wheel to you, or you can carry on to the next exercise which helps you craft your digital version by giving you some journaling prompts. And this is how the journaling prompts look. You will have the activity outlined there for you. It will give you some options of how you do it. And if you choose to do the digital version, you can simply hit start and it will give you some journaling prompts to start thinking about the four quarters of the medicine wheel and what they mean to you and your life. So you simply type in whether you're on your phone or your laptop, think about your answers and then you hit submit and it will collate all your answers. And at the very end of that activity, it will tell you your answers and it will give you the option to download a PDF. Then at the very end of that module, as I mentioned, you have a lovely space, which is your reflective journaling space. I've obviously put test in there because I've been testing out this course and you can save that just for yourself, for your beautiful diary so that you can look back on all of your reflections. And you can also download that as a PDF if you want to save it somewhere. And as we move on through this course, it follows a very similar format. Each module has a video to start you off to explain this particular module and the particular activity that you need to engage with. 
It will give you some really good information that there's every chance you didn't know before and you'll be able to carry with you for the rest of your life. Then we'd have the next activity, which is a little quiz that will help you assess which of the areas you most connect with. Is it the east, the mental plane? Is it the north and the physical plane? Is it the west and the emotional plane or the south and the spiritual plane? And once you know what your dominant answer is, again, you can download the PDF. Then you will be able to connect your dominant answer with a fun spirit ally. And we're sticking with ancient medicine and looking at animal medicine. Now, this is really a personality styles quiz. So very up to date, very modern, very much based in psychology. However, I've given it a mojo slant. So we connected this personality style baseline to your spirit ally, which is connected to ancient animal medicine. And it just makes it much more fun and much more engaging. So when you know what direction you connect with the most, this PDF companion will give you two options. You can either roll with that direction as your starting point in Mojo School and really focus on your strength and building in that area. Or you can be really brave and engage straight in your shadow work. And you can look at the opposite area to your strengths, which is likely to be the area that needs the most help and support. And it will take you through the particular animal medicine that connects with that area. So you can see whether you recognize represent the east and eagle medicine and there's a recommended starting point for you there the north which is buffalo medicine and it will give you all of the details and your recommended starting points the west and otter or the south and serpent and it just gives you a really good way to assess where you're at what your strengths are and where is a good place for you to continue through on your mojo gym we then move on to a standard self-assessment to have a look at what your well-being is currently like. And this is based on the Office of National Statistics Big Four Wellbeing Questions. So it's a standardised approach and it's how we measure our impact. So you'll be asked throughout Mojo School at various points to take this self-assessment. It's four very simple questions on a scale of one to ten. And then we can measure your journey and the value added as you work your way through the school. And maybe at the end of 12 months, if you're still with us, we'll ask you to do it again so we can see how far up the scale you have moved so it's very very simple you'll hit start and you'll be asked four questions and you just need to put yourself where you feel you are on the scale and then you can measure it again at the end and then we have some really cool assessment tools to connect in with the other assessments that you've been doing to really get to grips with what's happening for you and what your areas of greatest need are so we'll do a good old life audit one of my most popular activities in all of the workshops i've ever done over the years is sussing out where you are at using the basic eight dimensions of wellness framework we can see we have the circle once again the theme of the circles coming up and it's split into eight pieces of pie each represents a certain aspect of your life and very simply all we do is color it in on a scale of one to ten for each piece of pie where are you feeling is it number one pretty rubbish or number ten really great and when you have that visual resource in front of you you can really, really see where the gaps are, and where the areas that you might not even have realised exist that you need to put a bit of TLC and support into. And you can see on the left as we run down, each module takes a similar approach. We'll have a video, a lovely set of activities. The territory mapping section is absolutely incredible. And I actually have a Medicine Wheel Masterclass available at the moment if you want to go through this course in detail with me coaching you through it you'll be able to see all about the territory mapping and it's incredible impact that it has on your life and then we move through once you have mapped out your territory we move through to your wellness passport so you have your map you have your assessment you know what's going on you have your map that you've built in and now you're looking at curating your wellness passport so that you have the tools to be able to move through either with your life in general or through Mojo School a little bit further. So we build that in together and then we have a set of final self-assessments, work out where you're at now. And then there's a nice little congratulations video from me, little course evaluation so that I can continually improve. And then you'll be asked to pop your name in, which will generate your certificate. So I'm gonna show you what a certificate looks like, what you will achieve when you get to the end of the course next. So this is what your certificate of completion will look like. And you can keep on collecting them as you go through the full Mojo School curriculum. So there we are. We are back to where we started back on our dashboard. 
I hope that's given you a little bit of food for thought and it's given you um, a nice little indicator of what you can expect on the inside. Once you get onto Mojo School, you now know what the full curriculum looks like and you know what you can access and how you can do it and all of the ways to get involved. So if you like what you see on the inside, I would absolutely love to see you sign up as an enrolled member in whichever way works for you. Jump on one of the courses to dip your toe and test the water or sign up for one of the subscriptions. You can cancel any time, you can change your mind at any time. But I guarantee once you get to the good stuff, you will stick with me because we have so much more to share and learn together.